I've got an elemental loop grid on screen and I'm using the elemental taxonomy filter, but I'm only showing the children in the filter. Normally when you add it, you're going to get the parent and the children and you can disable the children and just have the parent. But what if you don't want to show the parent at all? You just want to show the children. You can do that with a tiny bit of code. Well, I say a tiny bit of code, it's a bit of code, but hey, it's a bit of code. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So here we go. We got our loop grid. Obviously, you can decide if it's post or products. I got my taxonomy filter. It's applied to this particular loop grid. We're using the categories. And when we go to the settings, you can see that we are showing the taxonomy children. Now, by the way, even when you do add the code, when you are editing, you will still see the parents. But trust me, when you go to preview or live, the parents will be invisible and you're only going to see the children there. Now, as far as accessibility goes, I'm pretty sure if you go and hack into it or do a page inspection or look at the source, you will still see the parents there. But as far as I'm concerned, for most people, when you're looking at it on screen, you're just going to see the children. And I hope you go and click at it and have a bit of fun because that is now going to mean that maybe you've got a page with, say, 50 children and they all relate to a parent. So let's say every parent has five children. So that's 10 parents, five, uh, 50 children in total. It might get a bit messy. So maybe you don't want to have as many parent filters visible. You just want to show the child filters. Maybe, look, think about this, okay? You got a page, okay, uh, which is furniture. And then it goes to another page where now you're showing loads of items related to furniture. And you want to have the filter at the top. You don't want to now say furniture or other stuff because they're already on that particular category page. So what you do is drop a HTML widget. I like to stick it at the top and then go and paste this in. And this link for this linky code thing is in the video description. You don't really need to change much on here. What this is doing is basically hiding out the parents. OK, I mean, um, actually, I should mention, actually, there is one thing I should mention. Sorry, if I go to the advanced tab. I have given this a CSS class of child underscore filter. That's actually really important. I should have said that. So when we go back to the HTML widget, you don't actually have to put a class on the loop grid either. Okay, it's just on the actual taxonomy filter. Make sure you've called it child underscore filter. You go and drop this code in and that's it. And like I said, when you're editing it, it will look like it's not worked. But if you actually go over to the screen, you will see that it has. And I click child A, child B, child B2. Now, obviously, you can still see parent D, C and parent B here at the moment. That's because I haven't excluded them from the loop grid. So if you wanted to exclude them, go over to your query. But this is just to get across how you could hide the parents from being visible in the filter and just have the children. I told you it's easy to use, right? Hey, I'm Imran from Web Squadron. See you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, waste no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life. I never miss that fact, taking big swings.